Hi guys, this is a spread for Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. I am doing a bl uh, blood moon spread for you guys to see what you can expect, um, see what you can do to, you know, ease it up a little bit um, and just kind of go with the flow. All right. So I'm going to start with Aries first and see what is coming towards you that you may not know about. Let's see what's coming towards my Aries. Hmm. Six of Wands. Um, and this is coming through like in the shadow aspect. So um, either there's somebody coming towards you that, that is full of it, that feel like they can get you back if they want you back, or somebody's going to challenge um, what what's your success, what you have done um, thus far. Okay. And maybe there's a need for some of you guys to, like, if your confidence has not been on point, then um, this is a need for you to kind of take a look at yourself and just realize that, um, you know, you are good enough. You can succeed. Maybe your success is coming into play, like, in your own um, psyche, okay? Wondering if you're going to succeed in whatever um, you have set your mind to do. Looks like you guys are like, you're going through some inner conflict right now. Um, wanting to start something new or have started something new. And I think you are not that confident in what you have started here. And you're trying to seek the truth here. The Queen of Swords just flopped over. Um, let's see what you guys can do to be proactive about this, okay? What kind of light can you bring in? Hmm. Just know that what you have invested, what you have put into this, um, that there may be a point in time, well, this may be, be a period of time where you just need to continue to do what it is that you're doing and know that um, your investment, the time that you've put into this, is, is going to be lucrative, but I think this is a period where you just need to kind of just, you know, wait it out a little bit, see what happens, because when you invest in something, you know, you don't see the fruits of your labor right off, but it does not mean that it's not going to be successful. Okay, guys, let's see what you guys can do to purge during this time. Hmm. <laughs> and the lovers jumps out here. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe, you know, you guys have done a lot of hard work. Um, and maybe you've been working way too hard. Maybe it's time to play a little. Maybe it's time to be, um, I think you guys have been very serious about what it is that you have um, started. And I think that that has everything to do with the business. And maybe you guys have been kind of um, lacking or not really paying that much attention to that special person in your life. If there is a special person in your life. Okay. If there is not a special person in your life, maybe it's just a time for you to go out and just do you, choose you, whatever makes you happy. But um, leave this work alone for a minute and have a little fun is what I'm getting here. Okay. Have a little fun, guys. Let's see what parts of your life, I'm looking at my dog down here, <laughs> what parts of your life um, should you focus on? Let's see. Yeah. Getting balanced because all work and no play makes Aries a very dull Aryan, okay? <laughs> Bringing harmony back into your life. Have some fun. Have some fun. You guys have been using that wand, that fire. Now it's time to like pour your emotions into something that makes you happy here, okay? Let's see what you can do to, to evolve from the things that you have learned. <laughs> Everything points to you going out and enjoying yourselves because I think you guys have been like busy little worker bees here, okay? 
busy little worker bees. Now I see something else going on here and I see a pattern for you guys, okay? Let's see what will come about as a result of this eclipse. Hmm. You extending your love to someone where I feel like you probably were kind of not really into them. Um, somebody is definitely wanting to reunite with you. With the Temperance and the Three of Cups, that is somebody that is definitely want to like work out your differences, get on the same accord. Um, they're very attracted to you. They're waiting on you to show your emotion towards them. They feel like you may be, since you're not showing that much emotion towards them, that you may be showing your emotion to someone else. I feel like somebody is waiting on you as well. Somebody's waiting for the opportune time to come in and present something to you. So do not be surprised if you guys receive a surprise. During this period, um, yeah, Especially if you're dealing with like, I think it like a Cancer, a Gemini, maybe another Aries here, um, Capricorn, Taurus. Um, I think like Aries and Cancer, Gemini, Capricorn. I think those are the signs that are like really um, Leo that are, are really going to be affected by this, this um, eclipse moon. Okay, so my Aries, you guys have got a lot going on, I feel like, during this time. Um, and um, have some fun, guys. Okay, so I'm going to move right on to Leo. Leo, so it's about 725 for Leo. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see what's coming towards my Leos that they need to look out for during this eclipse. My Leos. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Mm. There you are. I think a lot of you need to pay attention to how you, um, how you address people. Maybe during this time that um, you guys, you know, you may find yourself getting overly anxious or or angry with people. Um, maybe not having a lot of patience. Um, yeah, I think a lot of you are there's something that you want to excuse me. There's something that you want to do. And I think you've, you're feeling kind of like held back from it during this time. You come across as very confident, um, maybe cocky to some, but I think you guys are hiding behind something that is, is really hurting you right now, okay? Let's see what you can do to bring some light to the situation. Mm. I think it is deciding what it is that you actually want and going for it. There's a lot of confusion with you during this time period. Um, I think you guys probably have your hands in several different things, maybe working, maybe dating, um, just trying to, you know, keep your life in order, your home in order. And I think there's something, there's something, there's one cup that, that you want here more than the rest is what I'm getting. And I think that's probably what's kind of got you like knocked off a little bit out of your element. So I think it's for you to actually kind of decide exactly what you want to do with whatever cup this is that you are really focused on. Okay. I think you want everything. You want everything is what I'm getting. And you can't have everything. You can't have everything. Okay. Decide what's most important for you. Okay. Let's see what needs to be purged. The indecisiveness. 
um, the not knowing or the not selecting, the not choosing if you want to be with this person or do this thing or no, I want to be over here. You know, no, I want to be up here today. So it's being very decisive and choosing what it is that you want and going for it here. So I feel like it's decisiveness or indecisiveness is what needs to be purged. Choosing what you want, being adamant about it and like going for it. Okay. So let's see what parts of your life you can advance on here. Hmm. Seven of Swords. I think there's a need for you to really start taking into account other people's feelings. Um, of course, at the end of the day, you do what's right for you. But sometimes it's not what you do. It's how you do it. And it's doing things with integrity. That's what this is. Doing things with integrity, my Leo friends, okay? Let's see what you can do to evolve from the things that you are learning here. The Wheel of Fortune, guys. The Wheel of Fortune. I think this is to take into account that what goes around comes back around. This is karma, okay? So this is doing things with integrity, making um, decisive choices, and doing what you feel is right so that it comes back around to you. Okay. Hmm. Let's see what will come about as a result of this eclipse here. Here we go with the indecisiveness again. Um, I think you're really going to feel. You're still going to be indecisive. So being that I'm doing this reading, I think, you know, this will give a lot of you that are watching this um, like a preview of what's to come. But it's going to be highlighted for you during this period. And you're going to feel. You're going, to, you're going to feel really like pulled because there is definitely something I feel like you guys want to say. I feel like you're hurting. I feel like you have this blinder on, these blinders on, like, this, this is you not really want to see exactly what it is that you need to do and say, okay? Same two, two of swords that's in this card, the seven of swords. It's going to be some tough energy, I feel, for you guys. Um, so, you know, I think to be proactive, to be very proactive about this, guys, there's a need for you to choose a path and do it. Choose a path. And do it, okay? And do it with integrity. Do it with integrity so that good things will come for you because um, you guys are entering into a new cycle. So whatever it is that you have done, um, whatever it is you've done is coming back your way, okay? So just keep that in mind, okay? All right, my Leos, um, I think that this has everything to do with somebody for sure. Um, you have a, you have two sevens here. Um, sevens are divine numbers. I feel like there is an individual here, maybe an Aquarius, Scorpio energy, Aries. Um, 
Yeah, Libra maybe, but that um, there there's some unfinished business here, okay, that you guys may want to tend to. All right, so my Sagittarius. So Sagittarius is at 1512. Let's see. Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see what's coming towards you guys. It's coming towards my Sagittarius. Shadow. Hmm. This is making a decision. And, and knowing that the decision that you make is one that um, you will endure for a while. Okay. Um, but this decision involves bringing something back. Whether or not to bring something back. I think you're going to feel some really heavy energy going on, um, a push to like make a choice, make a decision to decide whether or not to bring something back to rectify a situation. OK, um, let's see what you can do to kind of like smooth this out a little bit. This energy. Justice, do what you feel is right. Do in your heart what you know is right, okay? You're, you're going to feel really compelled to make a change with the justice. Hmm. You're going to feel very pushed to make this change here, guys, okay? Let's see what needs to be purged. What needs to be purged? All majors here. This karma needs to be purged. Whatever it is that that you have been fighting for a long time, something needs to be put to rest. Something needs to be wrapped up here. Justice needs to be had. Justice needs to be delivered so that this karma can be wrapped up. Whatever it is that you are here to learn, learn, um, there's going to be a very strong push for you to do what you know is right. It's going to be a struggle. It's going to be a struggle. But once you do, you're going to start all over again. And um, I feel like it's going to be a lot better for you guys going into the new cycle. Um, you're wrapping up a karmic cycle here. There's a need to, to, to finish something with someone, um, either bring it back or or put it to rest, but to bring justice to this situation for sure, whatever that may be, okay? Let's see what parts of your life that you can advance on here. What parts of your life, what parts of Sagittarius life can they advance on? Huh, I don't know how that, um, <laughs> that came out upside down, reversed. All of my cars are in the upright. Um, I think there's a need for you to take the mask off. If you look, the Queen of Wands has a mask on here. And a lot of times as fire signs, you know, when we're hurt, we hide behind certain things. Um, like I get defensive sometimes when I'm hurt. And there's a need for you to take your mask off, whatever mask you hide behind, um, whether it's smiling, um, when, even when you're hurt, something like that. Um, be your authentic, can't even talk, be your authentic self. The only Sagittarius that you know how to be. Be yourself. Okay. Let's see what you can do to evolve from the things that you've learned. Wow. Six of Cups here. Very strong energy, my guys. There's a soulmate 
relationship here, connection here rather, that needs to be mended. And does not mean that you guys need to like get back together, but um, there's something about the situation that um, that needs to be fixed. Okay, there's there's a wrong that needs to be righted here. Hmm. Let's see what the outcome is here, and remember who this person is. Like you guys shared something awesome. At, you know, once upon a time. Let's see what the outcome is here. The Eight of Wands. I feel like you guys will communicate. This is a card of Sagittarius. I feel like, you know, this is Cupid's arrows. I feel like you will deliver whatever message, whatever action it is that you need to deliver. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So that's what I have for you guys for the blood moon. Namaste. And I'll speak with you guys soon. Bye.